Ever since Express LRS came on the scene, the long-standing question has been whether to go 915 MHz or 2.4G. Well, they both have their advantages with 915 having superior penetration and long-range performance, while the 2.4G has blistering speeds and faster refresh rates. So which one should you go with? Well, why not both? And that's not possible with the GEP RC crossband receiver. So let's open this up and see how it works. Okay, so here it is, my Express LRS receiver. And if you're unfamiliar with ELRS, it's pretty much a lightweight yet very robust radio link for your FPV drones. Now, Express LRS has evolved over the years, starting off with 915 and 2.4G antennas. These are pretty good. And then they've evolved over to antenna diversity receivers. Now we have two antennas. Now, currently we have something called True Diversity or Gemini receivers. And that's what we have right here installed in my drone today. Now, dual band receivers like the one here by GEPRC has picked up where Gemini have left off. So let's open this up and see what you get. And the first thing I see here are these two antennas. And these things are very special. I've never seen anything like this. I will talk a little bit more about this, but it looks like a hybrid of what well, it is a hybrid between the 2.4G and the 915 MHz. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Next, we have a user guide or a quick start guide, a harness here to connect the actual receiver to your flight controller, pretty standard. Then you have a shrink wrap here, which is pretty cool, a lot larger than the standard shrink wrap for your receiver. And last but not least, you have the receiver here itself. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this dual band receiver right here. Now on the front here, you have the sticker that says 915 slash 2.4G, which makes sense it's a cross band or dual band receiver. And because of that, you do have two receiver chips on this board right here. Now on top here, you also have antenna one and antenna two, which makes sense, two receivers. It's a dual band receivers. It will have two antennas here. So this thing is a true diversity receiver and it is compatible with the Gemini system as well. Now at the bottom here, you have an LED light to tell you the status of this receiver here. To the right here, you have a bind button, which is kind of making a comeback on some of these Express LRS receivers, as well as two pads here to put this receiver into boot loader mode. Now, if you want to install this in a different orientation, you also have those same pads on the other side or the back side of the receiver as well. In the center here, you have your SH 1.0 connector, which is the same harness here that's included in the package. And I don't know how many receivers have this connection on here, so most likely you will have to cut this and connect it to your flight controller. But if you wanna do it the old school way or you kind of misplace this harness, you still have your traditional four pads in the back here, such as your ground, your five volts, your TX and your RX pad. Now don't forget, if you're gonna wire this the old school way, make sure TX goes to RX and RX goes to TX on your flight controller. Now in the center here, you have your main chip, which is the ESP32 processor. And this dual band receiver has all these standard amenities of any modern receiver, such as a built-in Wi-Fi antenna, so you can update the firmware on this wirelessly as well as a TCXO or temperature control oscillator to keep the packets in sync while the temperature on this goes up very, very high, guys. So this thing is uh, really packed and very, very powerful, guys. Now, as I said before, the antenna setup on this whole thing is, to me, the most intriguing part of this whole thing. It just looks different, but it does make sense, guys. It it looks like two antennas on one mass, and that's exactly what it is. As I said before, this is a dual band receiver, and it kind of combines the best of both worlds. As you can see right here, and I'm gonna compare it right now, here's the length of the 2.4 gig antenna, and as you can see, it's mirrored, it's identical. And here's the length of a 950 megahertz antenna, and as you can see, it's also mirrored. So what they did was just put two antennas in this one antenna mass here. It's truly amazing, guys. And we'll talk about that, why it's so cool, why it's so amazing. All right, so we know how this works. This is the standard Express LS antenna. The signals come from your transmitter, goes to your receiver, and then you have an input going to your drone. Uh, we've evolved, obviously, here to say true diversity, where we can have the packets come to either antenna, or actually both antennas simultaneously, but on different frequencies. This provides a more robust radio link, and this is really good for high interference environments. This is currently where we sit in the FPV hobby. Now, the difference here with this dual band receiver is that this thing here is gonna receive the signal to both antennas simultaneously, but on totally different bands. So if you go into an area of high interference, you can have information going to one antenna on the 915 megahertz, which is the long antenna, and have the same information go to the other antenna at 2.4G. 
it's really amazing guys so you have the best of both worlds now this gives us pretty much a more robust link but it also gives us as pilots more features and more options while flying so say for example you want to fly your drone say i have a nice little five inch drone here very very capable so say for example i want to do some racing with this drone i can actually switch over to the 2.4 g antennas and have really high refresh rates giving me a really response and snappy drone pretty amazing but let's just say on another event i want to go fly some long range flying so instead of using the 2.4 g antenna i can use the 915 g antenna and have really robust link as i fly my drone really really far and this will also apply if you're going to fly in bandits where there's a lot of concrete because the 915 megahertz antenna does really well in penetration test guys so you kind of have the best of both worlds. Now to take advantage of this whole dual band system, you might also want to have a dual band transmitter as well. Now I don't have one here, but that makes this whole thing here complete. Now fear not, if you have a traditional say transmitter or maybe a Gemini transmitter, this will still also work. So this thing is multi-purpose. When they make these new system, you're not really making a compromise. You still retain all the features of your previous system and you just have additional features guys. So this is pretty much a step in the right direction. And I'm pretty just surprised how fast Express LRS is just advancing and evolving. It's, it's really crazy how this, maybe a year ago, yes, this one right here by itself, the one antenna was a year ago, the standard in FPV. This thing has a power amplifier, TCXO built into it. This thing was pretty good. And now we have an antenna here with both 2.4G 950 megahertz gemini and dual band it's it's really crazy guys so what's my plan for this i'm going to install this probably in one of my newest builds once i get that frame kit and everything in here i'll put this into a new drone and test this in the future but for right now this thing seems to be very very promising as i said before just an evolution of the gemini system which was really a robust system guys so let me know what you think about this dual band receiver is it something that you can see putting into your drone let me know in the comment section down below is there any kind of faults with this i think this is pretty awesome now if you're the big diy person you can actually convert this to make it a transmitter now this thing here does have a 100 milliwatt uh, receiver but this can also be converted to a transmitter it's pretty much the same thing it's pretty much a transceiver so if you want to make your own dual band transmitter here it is right here for like 27 dollars now if you want to see how the true diversity or gemini system works i've done a full review showing you how it works and how to install it in your drone i'll leave that video linked right here so you can take a look at it so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace